Hi Cancer, welcome in. Um, so this is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate your show of support. Really thankful. So welcome in Cancer and let's get straight into the messages for you. There is, I don't know where to begin, but um, this is this Ace of Pentacles. This is supposed to be what you're receiving. It is here for you. And that is abundance, that's wealth. It's almost like in, an inheritance you're supposed to receive. I clarified it with the playing cards. And it's been clarified by another Ace of Pentacles, like doubly. There's so much in store for you when it comes to your finances and just your innate supreme feelings of well-being but you are not seeing that because there's some blinders that you're wearing that is keeping you stuck in the past and that is preventing this restoration from really taking full effect in your life right now you are not seeing the healing. You're not welcoming in the restoration as if you feel like what is lost cannot be restored and you're only looking at what has been lost and it's keeping you stuck. You're, you know, it's keeping you from moving forward. You, you realize that whatever this Eight of Swords energy is, it's keeping you from seeing this healing. No, I want you to see this healing. I want you to see this. I want you to remove these blinders so you can see this beautiful healing and get in alignment with this amazing abundance that this prosperity that is supposed to, that is here. It is, it is here only for you to attune to its vibration. So the energy is telling me, Cancerian, a force is going to come into your life and it may be coming in quickly and you you feel it as a feeling of fear coming up on you because you are still have you still have these blinders on you're not seeing it as something that's coming into healing you probably feel fear which you have you have um i can give you that you know you need to trust in your intuition but i feel like you're feeling it more as fear and, and and as a threat because of the blinders but this thing coming in cancer it is going to free you because you've been hanging in the past for so long oh it's like a cord has been just just changed it is changed your intention to just stay in the past and now this swordsman, this knight of swords, wants to come in or is on his way, its way, whatever the situation in, that's going to free you, whether you like it or not. So this may come in your favor. It may be a pleasant situation or unpleasant. But the intention of this is to get this, get you cut from hanging on into the past so that you can have this swing forward into like becoming even aware of where you are presently so that you can get up gallop forward and know that whatever has happened in the past has strengthened you and there's always much more to look forward to but i feel you sometimes you just hang heavily weighed down in all that has happened mm -hmm. <clears throat> There may be magic at work. I don't know if it's good intentions or bad. I don't know if it is the magic, some water magic possibly. It is fucked with your emotions truly. And um, have you, it's like being sunken in water. Um, feeling like you can't bring yourself up stones, heavy stones. Um, you know that song Heavy Stones by, um, I don't remember his name, Heavy Stones. Took a rest from her running. 
Anyway, I really like the song. I think I'll leave it somewhere so you can find it. Anyhow, so there could be magic and you need to break this free. I want to know how to see. Break free, aligning with your... Oh, there's so much here for you. You are an angel, I feel. You just need to to go and that's why I feel the this army is coming in to free you. There's this hierophant that you're supposed to be aligning with. It could be love, marriage or some divine union. It's almost like with the, the, the twin flame energy here, the lover's card, you're supposed to come in alignment with your duties, your higher spirituality with the hierophant. And it could also be saying it is your traditional beliefs and what you grew up listening to that's really keep you bondage and you need to break free from all of that shit. That's the energy. It's like too much. Tell me what the Knight of Swords is. Who is or what is the Knight of Swords of coming Cancer's way? Yeah, I told you this thing is going to balance some skills. This is... It could be something emotional. It's like the energy of waves washing away, causing interruption. Like a tsunami and then it has to be rebuilt and that's when someone you have to start you can't there's no past to look to now you know you have to really start over and this is where you really start looking ahead where do i go from here because the past has been washed away something is going to be brought into balance having to do with your finances now this could be a partnership or a union coming into you this i don't know why this person is coming in so hurriedly it's like impatiently hasting hastily to get to you tell me more about the knight of swords oh the sun Okay. The fight. It's like you don't have to fight anymore, Cancer. They want you to know that you are actually not fighting against anything. It's so strange. It's, it's like you're wearing one of those. Um, of, remember, I keep saying take off the visors, whatever this is that you're wearing. It's keeping you stuck in the past. It keeps playing your past over and over and over and over. It's making me upset. Maybe I'm, I am the King Knight of Swords, this upset energy, because it's really upsetting me, but I really want to cut this cord. Because what? And this effing visor, I, I want to take it off and break it. It's like I'm upset. That's how I feel. I'm really upset. It keeps you, like it's playing over these past, past tours. And keep, that's why, why? I don't know why. I'm going to, I can't. Mm -mm. So you can't see to move forward. It's playing over all these sad, traumatic events. Look, it's like you just have the channel set on lifetime. Shit. And you sit there just watching it. It's like you're still in Plato's cave watching the, the shadows on the wall. But these shadows are just telling you about your okay yeah telling you replaying some old ass traditional stories tell me more about the hierophant and these stories they want to be real <laughs> they want to be kept like in a library they want to be they don't want to die these these stories that you're telling yourself these past hurt they don't want to they want it they want you to ar archive them or keep the library active they want to remain meaningful in in your experience but i'm telling you something is coming in that's about to be sh shocked cancer that's how i feel 
that all along you've been playing over this, it's probably going to literally shock you physically. You're going to be stunned, this awakening that is taking place, because this is like that rude awakening that's coming. That these stories that you've been listening to all along, these moo 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 thoughts and feelings, it's old news. It's a time for an awakening now. Show me the Hierophant. What is the Hierophant? It's talking about wisdom. There's some angelic thing. There's some angelic presence within even the Hierophant. As if you do get messages from... Mm -hmm, it's what you decide to, to translate the messages as. Because even the writings and the wall and the traditional, how you grew up and the lessons you learned, it's really your outlook on it and you can change the situation with the magician and the magician card here. Cancer, you have the power to really alchemize the situation and seeing it as, instead of seeing it as burdensome, we're going back to see pure pentacles coming out. It's a, you're supposed to be a well being you're stuck in this cave look where are you you know what are is you are you experiencing life right now stuck in this zone playing over these tick tock you need to be experiencing real life i can't stress it enough i'm really upset i can't if honestly if i was somewhere where where I could speak out loud if I was really in that space, it would be, I would be shouting. I would be shouting at you. I would want to rip the, the goggles from off of your eyes and smash them because it's like this idiot game you've been living in for so long and not even realizing. And someone that is awake is coming, the magician, to free you. And tell you that it's not true. There's look, this is life, prosperity and abundance. So that is stupid ass stories that you keep telling yourselves in your head. That's why you're not seeing that the healing and the restoration is actually taking place now. It is that energy of breaking this thing so you will never return to it again. You know that this is not the life to be trapped. As if you, it's, it's the energy of someone staying stuck inside, playing video games all day long, immersed in that world. That's the energy that they want you in, you know. They want you just immersed. They want you to be a physical body immersed in digital. That's how they want you. And someone is going to shake this up. Just rip these devices. And you're going to wake up and hold your head up and realize that life surrounds you abundantly. You know what I mean, Cancer? Now let's keep moving forward. Put this over here. Know that that is your obstruction. Let's look at your obstruction a little bit more. The obstruction to your complete happy wellness and abundance. Talk to us more about the Eight of Swords. Give me one card that really... <laughs> Six of Swords. It's the channel, a stream. I'm telling you, it's just the that's what's been streamed into your consciousness. It's this. This is the programming the mindset it has to do with your religion your household your community everything that you grew up your your everything that you were told could have been a motherfucking lie about yourself they lied to you cancer they lied to you so much and that's why it's time for you to see the truth now and take back, take it. It's been handed to you, but they don't want you to know that. They're going to keep presenting this to you as if this, this is the life. This is the life. Whatever this frequency that they're playing, they're trying to let you feel like you're supposed to settle and be content for this life. God, how they present it to you. 
And they keep streaming it into your awareness, your thoughts, your consciousness. However they did that. Through words. Through action. Mainly through to the airwaves. The swords vibration. Air vibration. Alright. And there's also, even though you're stuck in the past. Or you're stuck watching these things. You never forget your soul though. You know. You'll never forget your soul. So it's almost like listen to it's what you listen to your soul or the airwaves. But you're waking up, I feel. The water in you, the emotion in you, you're feeling something stronger because you've you're never forgotten. Your divine father loves you so much and this water flows through you abundantly within you. It's for you to listen to the calling of it. To listen to the restoration and the healing so that you know how to move forward and away from feelings that are not serving you and leave things behind that are literally falling away and keeping you in a mindset that's not serving you. Alright, so this rude awakening is coming and it's coming through magic, through the airwaves and it's going to teach you how to feel freedom and independence and self-reliance, you know. And trust, and it's going to and it's going to strengthen your intuition, your innate divine intuition, right? Strengthening that, so you do sense this healing now coming through, all right? You are aware the bondages are loosening. You now feel this Knight of Swords is your help, and you are awaiting his arrival. And you know he's coming for you. Okay. Whatever this is. Because the Knight of Swords can be destructive energy. But it's going to pull up the vibration though. And it's going to smash this visor. Right now you could be going through your failure stages of awakening cancer. Where you're like, what? This is what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. this is what's been going on the truth is going to be revealed right now I feel you're taking action you feel ready to stand up you feel ready to fight you know you're going to realize maybe you don't have to fight maybe in the way you thought there maybe there is nothing to fight. There isn't anything. It's in you. And you really have dominance over the situation. Hey, I say, uh, mm. oh, yes, you do. That's Christ consciousness. Because when you, it's, um, you, when you break out of this, you, be, you become enlightened as the star. And you realize you're using the sword or the word, preaching, teaching, speaking. Instead of being trapped by the swords, you've become empowered. You've taken the sword. You've molded it or you've transformed it into a weapon. I feel cancer, you could be freeing yourself. And you have to really free yourself because no one else can free you. Emancipating yourself from all mental slavery, all the programming that has been handed down to you to realize you are the star, the chosen. You actually are the elite. Each and every one, all of you, you have the sword. You have a sword. Or the sword is on your side. To free you from captivity. Remember that the sword is the word. The sword is the knife. The pen. The illustrator. The carver. Christ consciousness. You are the chosen. It has to do with how you speak. 
you're the crown. Look, it's like taking back this crown. Because you've been giving too much of your attention or power away to this force. And those people that you looked up to or considered family, close friends, relationships. It was literally all to really keep you confined mentally, spiritually, physically. But like I say, you felt your soul never died. It could never. It had to be alive for you to even be here. And you realize that life wasn't serving you, so you took back control to head into your greatest, most prosperous destiny. I feel like you've planted seeds, you're patient, you're hopeful. You're like you're in a shepherd vibration underneath the stars, you know, being guided. Hmm. Mm, protected, really mastering your energy, cultivating your true strengths, working on your magic, your gifts of transforming. I feel like you're working on your alchemy. You're growing your pentacles too. It keeps growing, I feel, with the seven of pentacles. It's keep, it keeps multiplying, increasing. You know what I mean? It's the completion process of that healing and then what's next. And the healing has been done. It's been restored. All right, Cancer. Um, thank you for listening. Book a personal reading with me. If you'd like some clarity, uh, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next reading. Remember that... You are all and all is within you. Take care. Bye.